lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Aye, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. You okay, Ixil? She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. the village. She needs You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean... You know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing.
How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. But father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Cu live-ul, să nu se întrerupă, gen, știi tu, chestii. Could do a lot more. Come. Hmm. Massacred by something with immense claws. Look, there's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts. Stay here. I must see something. Still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting.
Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Interessante Siri. Very interesting. You can come out. You cut him up bad. The Wolf King will be angry. This way, through the cave. You lead. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. <laughs> what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. 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 You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Karen, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren there. The little one. No details. You have bandages at home? Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. 
might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Asta a văzut-o pe Siri, mă. Omul ăsta, gata, am înțeles. M-am înțeles acum. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not my daughter. And the little one? Neither, dammit! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. What if I refuse, because I just don't want to? Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Whoa, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll fly in the line. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Go to bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Candlestick. 
Stem's broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. for a doll. The kind he'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Off. Mm, could Spruce brew something wood. else, though. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Well, bring out the gimp. Think the gimp's sleeping? Well, guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you?
I'll drink another, then fuck the innkeep. Bine, excelent. Și mersi, mersi de feedback. made it to Velen. What? Huh? <coughs> Done poking around. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you barmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. This is Triss. No offense, but, uh, not great with your hands, are you? Why don't you take some wooden rags, see what image of a grown woman you can come up with? Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. 
want to have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. stock. So long.
What did I do to deserve your... is wit like Time you know the rat hole. Faster. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb Majors pay top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. 
Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Uh, besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. Good. This way, I think. Let's go see the Beller. Should have guessed as much. What's a Witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? This way, Your Grace. 
Come on, damn it. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Where the hell did you go? I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. <laughs> goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Talk about Anna and Tamara now. Know where they might be. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. do It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? 
Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Wise wolf. Could use a few potion ingredients. Show me what you got. So long.
Lightning strike. Oswin, where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire? You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beer to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Ah, that stench. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying trick! They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! How long are you gonna make me wait? Flowly victory. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. 
And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage. What the fuck? But only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? What the fuck? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? What? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with a child? What was I to do? 
took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Păi, Ana, o noapte întreagă m-a ținut jocul ăsta activ și nici nu m-am săturat măcar. Prea bun. Prea bun. Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Forte foi. Forte foi. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Look! us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful God. <laughs> Ah, 
back to the fortress. What? This? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change you into a leprechaun. Oh, fuck. solo vesco Oh. 
Show me what you got. Tío, no todo me acuerdo. Child, a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely. Damn it! Good. The graves dug up. And what's that, mate? Take it in your arms, quick. But if it goes garroting, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. It'll bite through your... Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If it tells the truth, by tomorrow Better. it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family.
Ah, le bébé qui s'amuse. The world was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again.
my blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. You know the rat hole. You surprised? That tried to dance with the witcher. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way.
What now, you piece of filth? Looks like rain. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... 
because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. By the debt, old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace.